A stretch of land off of I-45 is connected to a dark and sinister past. The bodies of four women have been found in the area throughout the 80s and 90s, now deemed as the Texas killing fields. Years later, there are lingering questions about the murders. Netflix is joining in the search for answers with a new documentary. The police couldn't do anything. In most of these cases, they've lost a lot of the evidence. The police, they did their best to convince me that I lost my damn mind. You give him the green light to continue killing our girls. There was a young woman abducted. They were driving. And You'll find some similar in the series. Joining me now here on The Factor Uncensored, Andy Kahn and Tim Miller. Obviously, you guys remember that. That was some scary times here in Texas in the League City area. Uh, Netflix is focusing a documentary on that. Andy, what are they exactly looking for? And do we have, are we any closer to answers on that? Well, you know what? The true crime genre is booming. And for the first time in my recollection, this is the first time this is going to actually be victim orientated and victim focused. The bottom line is you still have unsolved murders. You have questions, you have answers, you have families that deserve justice, they deserve answers. And I can tell you as a board member of Parents of Murder Children and surviving family members of homicide, which unfortunately Tim Miller is part of that organization, Grief is intensified when justice is lacking, and right now justice is lacking for these families. And so we're hoping that with a national audience, and this is going to be seen, I mean, I would expect this to be one of the top 10. If you thought the Jeffrey Dahmer Netflix was gonna be seen by millions of people, mm -hmm. we're hoping this one will be, and perhaps one of those people might say, I have answers. What is it like, Tim, not having the answers as a parent who's lost a child like you have? Mm. Just not knowing. Well, 38 years later, and then when, uh, when Netflix approached me on this uh, literally a couple years ago, I was kind of reluctant to do it, and then I kind of looked at all the options, and, and uh, you know, there's four of us families out there that were, you know, four girls found where Laura was found. So it was like if we can get that word out and get more information. You know, there's a lot of things that have recently developed in, in everything in, in the case. And, you know, I'm hoping this finally goes somewhere. But, you know, it's not just about the four girls on Calder Drive. There's, a, you know, there's other girls that's involved in this. Uh, I can say this much. I didn't think it was going to be as emotional as it was doing this and going back out there and starting from day one to where we are today and all the emotions and and things that we go through but mm -hmm. but uh it's like you would stops, think yeah. you would you would think after 38 years it get easier but you know what it really doesn't i think we know exactly who's responsible for it um for the four on calder drive I think we're closer, but we're not there, and it's extremely frustrating. In fact, I called the assistant DA the day before yesterday, and and I voiced my opinion, and, and uh, I wasn't the friendliest guy in the world. <laughs> to say and sometimes that. you have to show a little yeah, force. Yeah, and, and so anyhow, I think uh, you know the uh, first episode is going to air on uh, November 29th. I don't know what to really expect out of it. You mm -hmm. know, they just sent us a trailer two days ago and announce that they're going to do it. So, you know, I'm excited in some ways. In other ways, because of social media and stuff, every time we're on our search and people across the world can see it, you know, I know that now EquiSearch is probably going to be getting more calls <laughs> also. So it's kind of <laughs> That's big. more work for you. <laughs> but, uh, but anyhow, we're just, uh, the more information we get out there, the more information hopefully we can get in and maybe some of these families can get that closure and try and move their life ahead. I've been, uh, I feel like I'm the one that's been in prison now for 38 mm -hmm. years. I can imagine. And, and so, you know. I, I can only imagine, I, only uh, imagine. You know, Tim is the I epitome want to be. of someone who took a negative and turned it into a positive. Mm -hmm. I mean, look what he's uh, done with this organization. Help hundreds, thousands of families out so. there from your tragedy. Now, uh, Andy, how important was it that you become a part of this where it wasn't exploitive, but more so focused on the families. Many people had criticism about the Dahmer uh, docudrama, 
But when you looked at it, it was about the families and the victims. And so how important was it that this documentary was about the victims involved? This is so significant, Isaiah, because when you think about it, the movies, the books are basically focused on serial killers, mass murderers, school shooters, high profile murders. They're the ones who the series are made of and victims are basically treated with disinterested disinterest. I mean, mm -hmm. no one really even knows who they are, but this is the one that's gonna be focused on the victims, what they have had to go through for 30 some odd years. So I'm really excited and I'm hoping that this sets other trends for other families in the true crime genre that seems to more kind of want to exploit the killers and turn them into superheroes and give them infamy and immortality they richly don't deserve. And Tim, you guys work tirelessly at Equisearch in helping other families locate whether that person is alive or that person is deceased if it's a recovery. So for those who are interested in helping you, how can they get involved with EquiSearch here? Just go to our website, it's very simple, txeq.org, or call our office, 281-309-9500, and, uh, and, and we can use all the, all the help that we can get. I mean, our, our caseload's getting bigger and bigger. We was actually in the landfill for a week and a half just recently, and then was doing a deal with Brazoria County yesterday, and we don't have a lot of days off. and. Uh, I know that this Netflix thing was scheduled to really start airing earlier, but then we got notified and they, uh, they had it put in, uh, translated in 37 different languages. Wow, so it's wow. Be shown, you know, almost <laughs> around the world, so. Your line is gonna be busy. <laughs> Your line is gonna be busy. Tim Miller, Andy Kahn, thank you both for joining us here on The Factor on Sensitive. Yeah. Thank you for the job you both do here in this community. You guys work nonstop and we appreciate it. We appreciate we'll be 